So he means it. Heads in, look. I don't think that's alive, mate. It's still going, look. Yeah, that's the tail. Me and Tim have found a snake. And there's the head down there. That doesn't look very alive, mate. Oh. I think that's dead. Bit of bad dirty office, that one. Let me see if, uh, let me get the glove out. Yeah, I'm sure if it was alive, it would have wriggled off by now. I just saw that, I was like... Yeah, it's a big one as well, isn't it? I didn't want to step on it, you see. Oh yeah, that's no, it, it is. Oh, that's really cool. That's the skin. It shed its skin. Yeah, it's definitely hollow, and it's got all wrinkly, all crinkly at the top. That's amazing. Yeah, but when it goes down the end, it's all. No, nah, look, it's obviously come out of its skin. Turn itself out, is it? Yeah, this is a. Uh... Oh wow. That's pretty neat. We don't really find much snakes over here in the, uh, in the UK, really. Grass snakes and maybe the odd adder. As far as oh, I know. It's a big one. It's cute. Let's see if I can take this uh, as, as a, a whole thing. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. It might just disintegrate when I get it home. Oh, it's pretty amazing though. You can hang them up. Dry them out. Cool. Well, that's a pretty unexpected find. Okay, unravel, unravel it there. Wow. Well, we need to keep an eye out for uh, the snakes out here. <laughs> I'll put it there. Well, I'm glad it's not dead, so that's good. On with the video. All right, mud lovers, here we are again. We're at the famous bottle dump where we found some epic finds in the past. Lots of Victorian gear here. I'm with Tim, as you can see, he's got his spade. Hi, mud lovers. And his shovel, and he's ready to start digging. So yeah, we're gonna uh, see who finds the best find today and award ourselves with a hideous trophy that we call the Mud Lover Cup. It's just an award for who gets the best find. So there's a bit of incentive today, try and get some good finds up. Um, this is a good spot, so keep, keep stay tuned. I'm sure we'll have some good luck in the muck. Hoping so, my turn. <laughs> oh yeah, it's your turn, isn't it? Because uh, I've had the poison bottle, I've had that nice little lid, base pot thingy, Jay's tooth soap, uh, the last couple of times, um, and obviously some other bits and bobs, so I'm doing all right. So yeah, Tim, you need to pull your finger The luck is on your side, but today <laughs> I brought my trusty steel. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh... And the luck is gonna be on my side. Oh, well. I'm up for the challenge if you are, mate. Let's do it. Always. <laughs> so last week, Tim presented me with this old digger's fault that he'd found on the Thames, and he said, Sorry, take that, and upcycle it into a lovely new fork so he gave me this uh, well I think it's a pickaxe handle so there we go I made it and he said there's also a way you can rivet them so this is pretty cool riveted in there using a nail and so it's ready to have its first well proper shovel full by me so now I will christen this Sir Fork a lot <laughs> or maybe Sir Find a lot yeah it works really well Hopefully you'll give me some luck in the muck. Oh, Tim was just uh, inspecting his uh, his walls of his hull. And look, he's found that, just sitting there. How mad is that? Held together by a few roots. That's awesome. I mean, it's complete. Go on and give it a tug. That's it. Oh, it's already got some hair, look, hair is in the roots. Now with these, as Simon well knows, they sometimes have the eyes inside, so we're not going to knock it out because there's a good chance the eyes will still be in there. Oh, really? So we'll I just didn't know that. Be very careful when we clean it, and hopefully, there'll be a pair of eyes inside. That's really cool. Great first find. The detail on that is a lot better, isn't it, than other ones I've seen? Really good. It looks pretty eerie with the black eyes, don't oh, you think? Yeah. Pretty gothic. Pretty spooky. Might leave it just like that on the shelf. <laughs> black in the eyes, bit of black eye makeup. Cool. We'll clean that up. Let us know if there's any eyes inside it, and if they are, can you can you just can you put them back in or? Yeah, can do. And there's the stamp on the back. I reckon D might be Deutschland. A yeah, it's got are... probably German. Yeah. I think. I would have thought so. A lot of them are. Oh, it's a bit of a crack down her face, but sad. Ugh. Never mind. That will soon uh, uh, that might paint fade, over, fade away, wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely fine, mate. Well done. All right. Cheers. 
<laughs> Sadly, when Tim cleaned up the stole heads, the eyes weren't in there, but still an amazing find. Oh, there's, it looks like there's a bit of stoneware to your... Oh, it's ginger beer. That's a good sign. Well, here's a bottle, ready to come out of its ash. I haven't got my little probey thing today, but never mind. That's quite a nice little complete stoneware. Maybe a little ink jar, blacking jar. Something else, polish. Cool, lovely jubbly. Don't mind finding them. Half in and half out. Um, plain. Still though, lovely bubbles in that. Beautiful. Lovely old Victorian glass. This just fell out. Tiny, teeny little bottle. It's amazing how small they get. Still with little air bubbles in there. I don't think it's got any damage. Thank you. Well, as you can see, Tim's done a little test hole, and we can confirm that under about getting to about seven and six, seven foot, it turns to solid clay, which means this part of the tip is quite shallow for various reasons. Maybe it wasn't filled in, wasn't filled in at all. Um, but we just wanted to check and see how deep does it go, so we're not missing anything. And it looks fairly convincing. That's quite a big getting into the natural now there's all, all those bits you see there are just bits that have fallen in so we know now how deep we can go to get the good stuff so this is like this is down there. It's all yeah this is like a little drill a drill hole almost just to see what's going on but you can see all the red around here that's all the good stuff and you've got the layers uh, a few bricks there and then it comes up look up to the top and there's stuff all in there we wanted to know how deep it was, and now we know. And Tim's just making double sure by the looks of things. Yeah, it's, it's gone onto like a slightly different colour clay now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, mate, well, if you're satisfied, so I am. We know we're not wasting any. We're getting it all. Yeah, exactly. We're getting it all, and we've gone to the bottom of the of the tip, so now we know. Like I said before, we know the depth, so... All we need now is some luck in the muck. <laughs> <laughs> So Tim's just had a nice little cut nose powder here and he just told me he's found something else but this we found on these last time so I might put this one on the Etsy store. It's got a little chip there but nothing that would really um, you know give it too much trouble. So yeah, nice find. Tim's just had a pipe up. Oh what? A nice claw pipe. Oh that's lovely. Oh what well I mate. It's all there I think. Well, most of the bowl, all of the bowl and most of the stem. Pretty good find. It's a very good find. It's unusual actually as well, I think. That'll clean up nicely. You have to send me a few uh, clean up picks of that and you get it done. Oh, do. lovely. So cool, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Do you like a pipe? Mmm. Yes, this stunning bird claw pipe cleaned up really well. Well done, Tim. Well, it's lunchtime and I've brought with me my favorite cheese and jam sandwiches. Uh, Tim finds them, Tim thinks the idea is pretty repulsive. So we can have a sandwich swap today. He's brought with him cheese and brown sauce, which sounds pretty gross. It's the um, best. You reckon it's the best. So we're gonna have a, we do a little taste test. See if uh, either of us like each other's con conceptions, contraptions, what's the word? Uh, concoctions. Concoctions, yeah. 
So get your sandwiches out. <laughs> get your meat surprise Ooh, around there. Nice. Although, yeah, I'll give it a go. It can't be that bad, can it? Come on. Better yeah, then, right. Quality. Well, yeah, you take one of mine and you tell me what you think Mature of a... cheddar. You think what, tell me what you think of a jam and cheese sandwich. Is it mature or...? If you're in America, it's probably a jello and cheese sandwich. Jello. It's raspberry jam and cheddar cheese. Nice jello cheese sandwich. <laughs> Nom. This is like a master chef, right? You're going to have to, the finest cuisine in all of, uh, all of England. That is strangely quite nice. Yeah, there we go, a success. <laughs> Like wholesome it. and hearty. <laughs> there we go, see? Cheese and jam. So there you go, try cheese and jam everyone. I'm not sure about cheese and brown sauce. Do you know what? It smells quite nice. <laughs> Give it a go. Oh. It's like, it tastes like cheese and pickle, but without the chunky bits. Much so better, smooth. Yeah, I could eat that, happy with that. But you could have this as your, as your like, main meal, and have the cheese and jam as your kind of dessert because yep. it's, it's sweet and a bit savoury. So very nice, thank you. So, what strange sandwiches do you have, guys? Is there anything weird and wonderful you want to share? Leave it in the comments below. So this one just drops out of the wall. Nice little inkwell, little bow inkwell. They're really cool to find. Looks complete as well. I think we seem to find one of these each time we come out here. In fact, that looks like it might have. Oh, it looks like a little maker's mark there, but I don't think it is. I think it's just the mark of the mould. Nice. Lovely bubbles. It's like a little wine glass here of some sort. Look. Quite sweet. Looks like it might be a sort of a coloured glass. Almost like a stained glass or pearly glass. Nice. I'm not going to keep it because it's uh, broken many times, but... You can sort of see how it used to look back in the glory days. You can see a little bottle there, look. Half in, half out. Maybe it'd be interesting. Oh, it's broken. That's no, not complete, but it's only a plain one. And out popped a pipe. Much be plain. little clay pipe. So there we go, that little um, little eyeball just come out of the, um, actually that was an eyeball, it'd be pretty cool but it's just a Victorian marble. Sweet. There's more goodies in there yet to be found and Tim says he's got something as well so uh, let's go and have a look. Right, what have you got Tim? Oh it looks like a Chianti. Oh yeah nice, the old wine, the old wine bottles, they would have had wicker around it, I hope it's complete. Won't be by the time I finish. <laughs> it's starting to rain now, which is nice actually, it's quite cooling. It's lovely isn't it? Hmm. It's the larger size one, isn't it? Yeah, it looks big. It. Ready? Yep, yeah, it's like the bank is giving birth to a bottle. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Yeah, I found a few of these before, actually. It's nice to see them complete. It's amazing because they're so... Like a light bulb, it's so thin, isn't they it? They do look so fragile. How the hell has that survived the dump? The dumper, you know, being thrown away, being dragged... Mm. all over London and then dumped here. Unless it was wrapped in the wicker yeah, originally. The, yeah, the wicker's probably been... Rotted away. Yeah, helped protect it. Really cool. Mm. Yeah, we've been a nice tipple in there, I reckon. Nice bit of rouge. Merlot. Perhaps. Or, as, do you say Chianti? Chianti, yeah. Chianti. Well, Tim's found this as well. Unfortunately, it's broken. But it is the old R whites. Nice green bottle there. That'll be a great little upside colour. Take the top off. Should be pretty clean once there's all the muds out of it and then put it on the old Etsy store. Yeah, look forward to cutting that down. 
I just pulled out is what looks like to be a candlestick, but look at these lovely little transfer printed figurines. A bit racy that one. Although if it's Roman, inspired obviously, then uh, it's perfectly allowed. Maybe even medieval, don't know, inspired drawings, illustrations, yeah pretty nice. Wish it was all there though. Teapot. That's cool. It builds us one. Yeah, it's broken unfortunately, but uh, makes you want a cup of tea. Might mm -hmm. have a cup of tea in a minute. Definitely. I've just found the jug. <laughs> Good to go oh, with it. The <laughs> They've got the whole set here. How bad is that? Little chip out of that. <laughs> oh. So there must be a cup and saucer in here as well somewhere. What I'm doing here, right, I'm taking out some of this uh, leftover bits and I'm tossing it. Oh, you're right there, mate. Yeah. You're falling in your own hole. Good, yeah. <laughs> comedy. Damn, we should call that. Yeah, comedy. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I'm taking the spoil and I'm flicking over here and something came out. Um, as I was clearing up, lovely little head. Getting your shoulder done. Yeah. How cool is that? Looks like it might have an actual sort of hairstyle or something going on. Or I like yeah. that some colour. Brown hair. Oh, it just comes off. It's so. Yeah, uh, is that that's painted on, right? Yeah, you can touch it back in. Oh well, I've just ruined his hair. Just run it under the tap. I didn't know they were so lightly painted. I yeah, thought it would have been painted. Those a lot of them, not all of them. Oh, I thought it'd been painted with um, we you know like glazed on with the rest of it. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Well, there we go. It's pretty nice. Blue eyes, maybe. Little rosy cheeks, normally. <laughs> yeah, every time I wipe him, he gets a bit dirtier. That's cool, though. I'm happy with that. There's another little stoneware bottle coming out. That can match the other one, I think. Nice one. That's crazy in on there. Oh, you're full of coins. No, nope, just stones and mud. And Tim's just pulled up this little alley gob, little gaming cube. They're quite a common find for mud larkers, although I've never found one, <laughs> so they can't be that common. Um, nice green colour. So this would have been part of a little Victorian game. Probably kids would have played it. You throw it. Um, used to five play, of them in it normally? Yeah, five, five jacks or five knuckles or something else they're called. And a little ball. Yeah, I'm not sure how the rules work, but um, nice little gaming object. Sweet. So Tim's got a big hole over there, right? And it looks big, it's just foreshortened for the camera because uh, here's my hole here. And there's a little divider between two holes for some reason. It's just made a natural. We didn't want to go too much into each other's area. So that's a dividing hole. And Tim has just uh, smashed through it because we're going to get rid of this dividing wall. We're going to take it down like the uh, Berlin Wall, aren't we? And then, we are. Uh, we're going to become uh, brothers again. Exactly. We're going to re reunite. And uh, Tim's we're going to forgive. We're going to learn to forgive. Tim's pulled this out halfway. Look, it's even stuck. It's even got a root stuck in it. Oh, huh. It's a nice London one. Yeah. Camwell. Camwell. Blob top, would you say? Yes, yeah, definitely. So we've had a cork in it, as opposed to a stopper, so slightly earlier. Ah, oh, so a shame that it's uh, lost its top there, but I suppose if you wanted to display it complete, you can do it like that, or maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll chop it down. Well, it's like a good contender for uh, upcycle. Yeah, I think it will, um, it'll be more useful, I think, as a, as a little container. So that's really cool. Nice little find that. Tim, see if there's any more in that, uh, in, the, in the mud wall. We'll get back to you if there is. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, it's plain, I think. 
think. Can it? <laughs> it says London on the bottom. And okay. Beatty's. Oh yeah. Beatty. Well, I swear I was expecting to be London. bigger. Yeah, we were expecting a bit more than that, weren't we? That's right, though. That's right. So it does. Beatty. London. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Is it a Juvies? Yeah. Well done. Well, you dug it, mate. Well spotted, though. I didn't spot it. It's nice. That's a very nice extract. Meat extract. Nice as in you tried it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying it. I've been trying to give a full one for years. Oh, there you go, mate. Looks pretty good to me. Is it four the contents? Four ounce. You know I like savoury. Juvies, four ounce. And a registered, nu registered number. It's a nice shape actually. Yeah, it's very nice that is. Four ounce juvies. Excellent. And I am a collector of these, so that's a that's a shelf item. Yeah, so it's a take you home piece, is it? It certainly is. So why so is that rare or is that just is it just something you well, haven't found personally? They're, they're not um, one-offs, but they're, they're nowhere near as common as the Bovarils and Marmites. No. They're, they're very hard to find. Are they? Oh, good. Well, see, that's our uh, find of the day. Find a du jour. Definitely. Well done, Timbo. And this is me happy. <laughs> and I'm not go. convinced. Not convinced. <laughs> it's a little bottle there, but I think... Oh, what's that? That's quite good. Go on, Tim, I'll let you do the honours, mate, in case it's something good. Oh, you wrote, let's go and break it, I didn't I jinxed you? it, didn't I? Sorry. Yes. I've just found a Patterson's of Glasgow camp coffee. You like those, didn't you? Yeah, chuck that over here, man. Cheers. Hey. -hey. Ah, spoon. Spoon, cousin? Yeah, I like a spoon. That's a nice one. Nice thicky one. A little teaspoon. Just imagine how many cups of tea that has stirred mm. in its life. Not oh. very many. <laughs> nice. Scraped off in the bin by one of the house servants mm. who was promptly sacked for her loss of one of the important family spoons. <laughs> they just seem to go down the drain a lot of the time as well, didn't they? Tim, remember our little trophy we made? I do, I remember we were deficient of one limb. Yep, we needed a little head. We needed a head. And I don't want to use a doll's head because it's a bit too boring. Yeah. Well, for a little, for a freaky trophy anyway, but look, see that down there? Yes. Look at that everyone. It's a little cat. And it's got <laughs> a horrendous looking smile on it. Do it again. Oh, it's cheesy, isn't it? That's it's got worth. a cheesy grin. That could be the top oh, of our yes. trophy, yeah? I think that's the one. It's got the cheesy grin. That's, that's <laughs> saying, that's smug, isn't it? That's a smug looking face. It is, and it's also got uh, the, the body of a tambourine player, so they can be, it can be smiling and banging the tune of his own drum. Yep, definitely. Uh, on a vase. That is a smug face saying, I've, I'm, I'm the winner. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so I think um, uh, that's got to so. be the head for our Mud Lover Award. C certainly a trial head. That's cool. Cool for cats. Tim's got a little skittle. I mean, he's got a little skittle bottle. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Idris. It's in good nick. Is that the one with the uh, coat of arms on? Or was it just a... That's a plain, plain one. one. Nah. But still nice, fine. Yeah. That's a nice bottle. We won't play skittles with this one, though. Definitely not. One for the shelf for you, Simon. Thank you. Well, look, guys, look how that came out. I was doing a gentle little dig here. And do us a favour. Would you take that off of there, please, uh, Timmy boy? There we go. What we got then? That's a sea. It's nice one. Ooh, nice London skill. Pure oh. Water Company Limited Batterson. And it looks to be intactus. Nice one. Totally all there, no chips, cracks. Beautiful. I do like that. That's probably my find of the day. 
There you go. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky I didn't put a fault through that. Yeah, I pulled it out there, I pulled the prongs apart. Oh, did you? Rather than just yank it out and scratch it. Yeah, done a good job, mate. Well, I found a cool little pipe bowl. Come and have a look. There we go. A bit big, this one. A bit chunky. Hopefully there's some good stuff on it. Mmm. Cool, I think, yeah, this looks like to me. I found one of these before, and they've got a lovely castle. It's, um... An in in skilling, in in skilling pipe. That's really cool. What one is it? In in skilling. It's a castle in um, Ireland or. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, it's but they had quite a big regiment there, I think as well. But that'll clean up really well. So stick around for the clean up, and uh, I'll show you this one all cleaned up. Lovely job, Lee. Miniature amber bottle. <laughs> Miniature amber, eh? Ooh. Oh yeah, that's cute. Not one you see every day, is it? Has it got anything on it? Yes. Oh, it has. Nice. Yeah. Well done. Well, good spot here. Well spotted. BW and Co. London. Well known firm that made uh, pharmaceutical products. Nice. Well done, mate. And you've yeah, not nice. seen that one before. Nice little one. Cool. Well done, Zimbo. So, I found a little object and I want to play a little game that we call Test Tim. Tim, Tim, can we test you, Tim? Yes, you so, can, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Let's cut that awful singing out. Tim, I want to oh. test you, mate. My new game show called Test Tim. I've got something in my hand. You can tell me what it is. It's made of. Or okay. well, you can tell me what it's made of and what you think it is. Ding. Oh yes, it's a pig bristle shaving brush. That's exactly what I thought. What's inside it? Is it wood? No, I used to say something free, anthrax free a lot of them, because they were catching right. anthrax. This is, what is that? It feels like it's wood. That's the bristle, oh. isn't it, I think? You, you can see, look, you can see the bristles. Oh, it is the bristle. Set into glue, do you reckon? Yeah. See the bristles? Oh, I do, it's like horse hair, isn't it, or something? Mm. And that's uh, turned bone, isn't it, I reckon? Gotta be. Pretty cool find. Not sure what I'll do with it, but... Uh, Another interesting bit of history. Yeah, that's what I think. Tim, you pass your test. <laughs> <laughs> well, now our uh, holes are combined. The trench is one. we been invited over to see what... Uh, Tim's found poking out. I'm going to um, say it's like a pickle jar. Yeah, it's some sort thing. of a food container. Oh, it's got some writing on it. It's a kiddies. Nice one. What would, what would that have contained? Uh, some sort of pickle. Brown Here's sauce for your cheese and brown sauce sandwiches, maybe? Could have been. <laughs> Could have been any kind of pickle or sauce, something like that, some sort of condiment. Nice. So I found a pretty cool find, it's a little bottle stopper. Check it out. Isn't it Tim? In the shape of a heart. Oh, that's lovely. Saying that, it's a bit fire burn, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still hard to find one like that. Don't see them every day, that's for sure. It's got the little, uh, little groove in it for... Um, so that you could turn it round and just get the, a couple of drips out. Mm. Like there'd be a groove in the bottle that you would line up like that, turn it round, and you could get a drip out. Well, a little dog has just popped out to say hello. It's like a little Staffordshire dog. Staffordshire Terrier, maybe. It's cute, isn't it? It's very nice. Shame there's no back legs left. But I've got a little foot that might match. There you go, look, a little, a little shoe. <laughs> with gold things on it. I don't think that's really gonna. No, I don't think that's gonna match. You're walking around uh, with a weird limp if you had that. Well, I've just found a bottle. Could be a ginger beer. Who knows? Come and have a look. There we go. Look. Uh, 
and it's another one of those polish bottles so they're pretty cool i think i've got a hat trick of them now <laughs> there you go a little uh stoneware funny little shape not quite a pork pie not quite a dolly blue well, Tim's found this nice tile lobbed it over at me almost took me head off <laughs> um, but yeah nice uh, Art Nouveau I reckon style <laughs> you're doing that on purpose <laughs> um, tile shame it's not complete but there we go oh it's actually got the name of it on there probably underneath Cool. Well, I've just had up this tiny little uh, file and it's actually got some writing on it. Looks like it might say Marshall. You can just about make that out, I think. I think it says Marshall. Yeah, Marshall. That's nice. I like that. Marshall. Cement. Cement? Cement or glue, maybe. Marshall. Well, it's very, look, that's how big it is. Yeah, I think they used to, those little bottles. It might be a Marshall cement, which is the word they use meaning glue, like super glue. Fair enough, cement means glue That's back in the Victorian times. That's good information. So, if anything's got cement written on it, it may have meant just glue. Yeah. It's quite a cool little bowl. I thought it was plain at first, but no, it actually says Beatty's syrups on it, and um, like a sheer neck on it, a Victorian one. It's nice. Well, my lovers, there we go. We finished for the day. I think I've got a bit of mud on my face, but there we go. Let's check out what we found today. Yep. So there we go. These are the uh, vines du jour. Um, so quickly run through what I found. This is a nice little blob top. Batsy one. Might be my find of the day. Um, again, cute little set there. I think they're a bit broken, but they're still quite nice. Nice little stopper to go in a uh, Similar, or probably a nice, more elegant looking bottle than that. That's still very cute though. Nice collection of stoneware. Might be uh, from uh, Polish or something like that. Stoneware and bits and bobs. Almost found a full pot right at the end. Uh, Bond Street. Is this, what sort of cream is this, Tim? A little bit Atkinson's cold cream. Oh, cool. Atkinson's cold cream. one shilling version. Yeah. That's really nice. Wish it's complete. One day we'll find one, complete. I have done previously, so it's not like I've never found one before, but I don't think I've found one on um, on this channel yet, but there we go. Some nice little files there. This one's got Marshall written on it, so that was really nice. So, yeah, in this Gillian pipe, clean that up and show you later. So I'm really happy with my finds today, done all right. But I think Tim has got the Digger of the Day award today. I'm not sure yeah. about that, but I'll, uh, you got I'll take what I can get. Yeah, you got a Digger of the Day. I'll give it, I'll give it to you this, this week. So B and W and Co, mm -hmm. which is a little pharmaceutical company, or not a big company actually, but a small bottle, um, a little green uh, medicine of some sort, a couple of gobs, valley gobs, valley yeah. gobs, a nice, uh, fairly not rare, but say not so easy to find juvies, four ounce, nice, this is a nice one, nice shape isn't it, doll's head, uh, kiddies, uh, sort of pickle type mm -hmm. food. Bottle and a Chianti. That's that's, that's, that's lovely. Yeah, nice finds, mate. Well done. Well, I'm going to present you with a virtual version of the trophy. So uh, there you go. Um, Thank you. I'll probably not Photoshop this on because I can't be bothered. But I'll send you a picture of the uh, award, and I will bring it next time with a new cat's head on it. So I'll present it to you. Unless I win next time, in which case you can present it to me. But I will rem remember it next time and have it, uh, have it have a fully fledged award. Sounds like game on. <laughs>
first is our little dog. Do that right now. I'm going to repair the back legs. Second, I'm going to put some labels onto those stoneware polish jars. And thirdly, is a little bit more resin art. So, let's get to it. So here's the broken Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, named so after King Charles's hairstyle. I bought a porcelain repair kit and it's a case of mixing the two parts and moulding and then pressing into the brake. After it goes hard, use sandpaper to file it down and then paint with acrylic paints. And then finally add a layer of gloss lacquer. Easy. I'll be selling this adorable little dog on eBay. So if you fancy a cheeky bid, See the link in the description below. expecting to hear from me. Thank you Sai for rescuing me from the dump. It's so much nicer here. I've already made friends with a lovely lead soldier. I could get used to this. So now Sai wants to show you his next upcycle project. Adding old labels to Victorian stoneware bottles that I've been lying next to in the dump. Enjoy! <laughs> Thank you little doll. Yes, I've been meaning to do this for some time now. I simply found some old labels online and digitally enhanced them a little bit and then printed them out and stuck them on the side of these old stoneware bottles. You've got a blacking jar label, um, a Cars Blue Black Ink label from England. And an American label called Black Cat Stove Polish. I think Nelson really loves this one. <laughs> well, I thought that was fabulous. Well done, Si. Those labels would have disintegrated a long time ago. And isn't Nelson a real treasure? I wonder if Si will let me be his new co-host. I am head and shoulders over everyone else. <laughs> and finally, here is the resin upcycle project that Si made using the miniature bottles from the dump. Enjoy! <laughs> yes, thank you little doll. And as you can see here, we found loads of smaller perfumes and tiny little medicine bottles. They're so tactile and dainty. So I really wanted to come up with a cool way of presenting these bottles. Something a bit different and using my newfound love of resin. So let me select a few bottles and show you what I've done. Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a bit more resin work and today I'll be using this one by Vuba. It's the stream version, so it's designed for slightly shallower resin artwork. So if you haven't seen or heard of Vuba before, go and check out their website. Their products are really good. I recommend them. See the link in the description below. Anyway, let's see what this can do. So this is a little pack I've got. I've got all various shapes and moulds to experiment in the future. Um, just a cheap one from from Amazon really, but look, they managed to blow up one, so one has escaped already, but never mind. Um, I've also got epoxy resin colorant today, so I'm gonna try and pick out a nice color there. We've got a uh, purple, blue, greens, reds, oranges, and stuff. So I think I'm gonna go for the purple one. I like the idea of, of a purple color. 
um, and I've got the syringes that I've got that I'm going to now inject inside. See how it goes. So the plan is, I, I've already set up these moulds. I've already poured in a little bit to create like a base so they're not sitting dead flat on the surface of these. So this is the bowl that's going to sit in there and I want the ink or content to look like it's coming out. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I might even put it at the bottom like that, have the ink pouring out, or have it at an angle. Yet to decide. I think I might have it at an angle. It looks a bit quirkier. Fill it that. Fill that with with ink or um, dye, and then have the resin over the top. And it should be like a suspended animation of using these little these little bottles. So let's give it a whirl. So I'm going to pour in here first so that I get reduce any chance of having air bubbles. A little bit in there, a little bit of the dye. I'm not sure how much to put in, so I'll be a little bit reserved. Oh, that's quite nice. Interesting, let's put a bit more in. That's quite cool. Don't think I need very much of this dye, to be fair. Little drop here, little drop there, seems to go quite far. I am making this up as I go along. In case you thought I was an expert at this, but I just want to show you how easy it is to create something. If you've got something lying around the house, you can just pop it in resin and see where it takes you. That's quite nice, nice swirly effects on there. Look, that yeah, adds a different dimension to these little bottles. Glitter in there, and in that one, and that one. A bit windy today, so this is going up, going everywhere. That'll do. There we go. Right, so now that's ready. Going, I might at this point just to get rid of any bubbles in, in the bottle, is just to heat that up. That's quite good. Nice big bubble will come to the top then. Let's go for it. Let's put it in and fill it up. So luckily, it's got a nice flat edge there so that I can see against the flat wall that I've already made. I think I'm going to do this at a little angle. So if I put a little reservoir in first. Rest it on that. There we go. Put it in an angle. So maybe now I should put a little bit of um, dye in there. I was going to syringe it in, but I don't think I really need to. Maybe just a dot. Is that going to sink? And it's all coming out. I don't want to overdo it because I think it could easily easily mess it up. That's pretty nice. Sort of a I'll show you now a bit closer up. It's hard to really see right now because the um Purple is the same colour as the mould, so the purple dye is very similar. There you go, you can just see how that's going to look. It's like a magic potion. Pretty happy with that, hopefully it won't um, separate too much. So all I need to do now is put a little bit, maybe put a few more bits of glitter in, although I don't want to overdo with the glitter, it looks a little bit too childish, so just to add a little bit of sparkle, maybe something to catch the light. Um, and I might just fill these up a little bit more when I've got it inside on a nice level surface. So I'm going to do the others off camera and uh, show you the results later on. But that's how I did it.
fantastic sight. Well done. They look like they've just been dropped in the Thames. Now, final word from me. I was lost over 100 years ago. And in that time, I've forgotten my name. So, if you can think of a cool name for me, please put it in the comments below. Best suggestion will be the pinned comment. Good luck. Simon told me to tell you that these bottles will be on eBay and you can own them. So please follow the link in the description below if you want to have a cheeky bid. Good luck. So I says, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And he'll see you on the next Mudventure. Thanks for watching, mud lovers.